Hi, I'm Jen of Route House Collecting. I currently have an eBay store and a Poshmark closet, both of which I will link below. So I decided to go ahead and start kind of branching out and documenting this reseller's journey that I have started about so oh, about six to eight months ago. I've always been kind of a hobby seller on eBay and I decided to really kind of take you know the plunge and try to make this a part-time business. So that's what I've been working on and that's what I have been focusing on. Uh, but you know, I am part-time because I am a full-time teacher, middle school teacher, as is my husband and yes, we are both still talking to one another, even after this crazy year. Um, so what I wanna do for this first video, just to kind of get a feel for everything and, and um, you know, see how things go, I'm going to do something I call Saturday sourcing. Now, I work full time, so I can't source during the week. Uh, you know, I get home like 5, 5.30, I got two kids running around, screaming, feed me, whatever. You know, if you're a parent, you understand. Um, so Saturday is my day. Saturday is my day to go out and stop at all of the Goodwills that are, are, are near me and go to all of the different thrift stores to see if I can find any great brands to sell in one or both of my stores. So that's what this first video is going to be. I'm gonna take you guys with me and we'll do the full rundown at the very end of all of the things that we picked up today and see what we see what we come up with. So come along with me. If you wanna like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And um, let's go, let's get this done. So fun fact, I thought I was actually recording a video and accidentally just took a picture of myself. So what I was saying in the video is that I actually have a four day weekend. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more thrifting. So I found these pair of Keens. They ended up getting put back cause the toe box was pulling away. Um, the shoe section here, you know, it's just kind of okay. Um, there's a little pair of Johnston Murphys there, the, the passport version, no jeans. I did find this little Build-A-Bear, My Little Pony, you know, and I'm kind of obsessed with stuffed animals right now. I put those back. They looked kind of interesting, but I just didn't really see value in them. Um, I always kind of look through the coffee mugs to see if I find any Death Wish. Now this thing, it's a nebulizer. It was sealed in the box. So I feel like I was maybe allowed to sell it but I just wasn't sure, so I put it back. And then I'm gonna go and look through the stuffed animals and see what I can find. I did end up finding a couple of things right there. And then I always look through the kids section. Okay, so I ended up putting those canes back because there was some pulling away at the sole. Um, I did find, I found a couple of like brands that I've not really seen before, Fly Flots. I looked them up, comps looked good. No jeans, no sweaters, no dress shirts. It was just really sparse in there. I did find that Build-A-Bear, the My Little Pony. Now, just a quick note, I am doing like a little experiment with stuffed animals. So every time I go to the Goodwill, I buy at least two or three stuffed animals. Um, I've sold one, but I really have a good feeling about, um, I found a vintage Winnie the Pooh today in there. And I also found a vintage Coca-Cola Polar Bear just 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 let me have this okay uh, so that wasn't really a great stop but again I only come to this goodwill probably once every six weeks or so because they don't turn over the stock like they do with the other ones but um you know got a few good things so we'll see uh you know we'll see how found, how it goes this is super cool this is a uh Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas onesie it's like a like pajamas, a pajama onesie. So I, I saw it and I was like, you know what? For $5.99, I'm gonna grab it. Worst case scenario, I'll wear it. Um, so these are those fly flots. Um, I've never sold this brand before, but um, I thought they were really neat and the soles looked really good. They just need them to get wiped off. Um, so we're gonna try those. This is a pair of um, Testonis. And I looked up the comps on this and the comps were really great. And these are in fabulous condition. Um, Bada is another brand. I have one pair of them upstairs and they have not sold, but this is a really neat style. It's like a sneaker style. And again, check that condition. You can't beat that. Um, so I grabbed those. And then I got these Vans. They're a really big size. Um, they're a 13, I believe. And 13s, 
They're probably gonna be, probably sit for a little bit, but it's one of those ones that it'll sell and you can mark them up a little bit because of that size. I got a pair of these little Crocs. These are th these were three bucks. They're a little kids, um, kids Crocs. And the reason I picked those up is I literally just sold a pair of kids Crocs for $20. And so I figure if I can pick up a pair of Crocs for three bucks and sell them for 20, I'll do that all day long. Uh, these are Johnston and Murphy's uh, passport collection probably around $30, 30 to 35, depending on, on comps. And then the last one, and this is a brand that I've never heard of before, did a little research while I was in the store and it looked okay. I'm thinking 30 to 40 French Shriner. And these are just some really nice little wingtip loafers and kind of neat. So, so that's it for this haul for this first one. So y'all buckle up because it is about to get crazy when I get to my actual Saturday. And tomorrow, this was Thursday after work. Um, I'm gonna go out Friday too, probably to another side of town that I don't typically go to. And then Saturday, we'll do <laughs> the real route. So I was just looking through some comps and looks like those French Shriners are probably a little less than I anticipated, maybe more like a 20 to 30, but those Testonis, I'm seeing some really great pricing on those, so fingers crossed. Well, my heart is broken on these. I just st started listing them, and I do the Ben test, but apparently it must have just started this little crack on the shoe, and so um, as I put more and more pressure on it, it's breaking away, so these are actual trash now. Um, so just word to the wise, you know, you can do the bend test, but sometimes that starts off something, and that's exactly what happened here, because in the store, these looked great, um, but obviously I can't sell them, so. So much for the fly flot. So I just got my hair done for the first time in about 18 months. Now, <laughs> part of the reason why I hadn't cut my hair is because my family, we did the Adams Family for Halloween. I'll actually, I'll post a picture at the end of the video. Um, but also just kind of because of the pandemic, I was, I, I didn't cut it for a really long time. Um, so now that that is done, and I've probably dropped about three pounds worth of hair, <laughs> I'm actually gonna run to a thrift store that I don't go to very often because I'm not ever really by it, but it's close to where I get my hair done. So let's head on over there and see what we can find. All right, here we go. So this one, the last time I was here, there were basically no shoes on the shelf. So I at least found a few things, no jeans to speak of. And I also looked into the stuffed animals. I did pick up a couple, <laughs> sorry. I also picked up a couple golf clubs. So that was pretty neat. And I got a shirt uh, of a brand that I thought looked familiar. Okay, so that actually ended up being a pretty good stop. I got a good number of shoes. I also got a couple of golf clubs, which I don't know anything about, but I feel like I watched Harry Tornado's recent video and I'm, I'm an expert now. I'm an expert now. No, I got a couple of tailor-mades. Um, they looked in really good condition. They're like burner drivers. And I looked at the comps and they looked okay. I got a fair number of shoes and only two stuffed animals. Y'all will be proud of me. I did not buy 27 stuffed animals. So overall, good stop. I'll take you through everything in a minute. So I got a nice little pair of Brooks. They're in really good condition. Just need a little bit of cleaning up. Some Teva sandals. And then these are those Circus by Sam Edelman's. And we'll see on those. The Dance Go Clogs, always a good pickup. I did find some Born Crown boots. And there's those little stuffed animals. And then Soft Surroundings. I'm pretty sure that's an anthropology brand. I don't know anything about anthropology though. I got that little neat scanner and a couple of New Balance, and then some ASIC shoes that look brand new. And then those are Dr. Wheel or Weil, and it's like a Vionic brand. And then these are the two golf clubs. They're TaylorMade's uh, burner drivers. And uh, so yeah, we'll see kind of what happens with those. I'm, again, not real well-versed on golf clubs. We finally made it to Saturday sourcing. Um, I'm actually sitting outside of my first Goodwill stop. And I gotta be honest, I never see this many cars outside of a Goodwill on Saturday. So I'm not sure if it's because of the weather. It is raining and it's supposed to rain continuously for the next five days here. So I'm not sure if people are just like, I need something to do. I don't know, but I'm just hoping I don't have to throw any elbows this morning. Okay. Um, so this is actually in a little bit more of an affluent neighborhood. So I usually find some really great brands here and I typically leave here with a full cart every single week. Um, so let's hope that today is no exception. So I've got about five minutes before they open the door and then we're gonna go see what we can get. 
So the shoe section in this particular Goodwill usually is abundant with really good brands. Today, unfortunately, not so much. I thought I saw a few really nice things. I thought like some Merrells and different things like that, but they ended up being these really weird off brands I've never heard of. And just condition wise, I ran into some real trouble. Like these Brooks right here, thought they looked good and then bam, like major huge snag on the side. Same thing up here. Another nice pair, what I thought were nice pair Asics and the heels were all jacked up. Newtons, no shoelaces, and just the tread was not in the best of condition. So it was tough. I thought I had a pair with these Mizunos, but then the toe box ended up not being great. So no jeans. I literally looked through all of the jeans and nothing. I looked through all of the electronics and there was pretty much nothing. I looked through the golf clubs over there because I am an expert now. <laughs> Just kidding, not really, and nothing. So then uh, the final place, the final little place that I go is the men's shirts and jackets and sweaters and things like that. Typically I'm looking for Robert Graham. I'm looking for Chubby's brand, the shackets, those types of things. And literally not a single decent like resale opportunity in the section today. The only thing that I found was a mammoth fleece and I think I found like a Jerry brand jacket. So that was horrible. Um, I did not find a single pair of shoes. I know that I looked at those Mizunos and the comps on them were really good, but then just closer inspection, the toe box on one of them was starting to pull away. So I was like, nope, um, not a single pair of shoes not a single pair of shoes. I got a couple of like men's zip up jackets. The only thing worth note that I picked up is I got like a little Lala Loopsie toy and a kind of Mickey Mouse thing that was like selling for like $25. I know it's a stuffed animal, yeah, it's a stuffed animal. Um, and then I also found a Bop It, which I've been seeing that those have been selling for, for decent money. So it was like $2, so I grabbed that, but really, not a great first stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to stop number two. And this is the one that is closer to downtown. Uh, and we'll see, hopefully, hopefully we have uh, better results at stop number two. Here we are, stop number two, see what we can get. Thankfully, the shoe section here, definitely much better. Finally found a pair of Mizunos in good condition, a little dirty, just need a little bit of a scrub on the soles and they are ready to go. So that's nice. I also found this pair of Air Jordans. Uh, actually, they're not Air Jordans. They're like the flight whatever, but I've sold them before and they're a really good sell and they're a neat colorway. So these are the free run um, Nikes, really nice soles. Everything looks great. And then some Adidas Samoas. Oh, it's good for a $25, $30 pop. I, I looked at these. These are like the most ridiculous looking shoes I think I've ever seen with that like weird steel toe situation happening. There was a lot of really neat stuff in the like dress shoe section, the men's dress shoes specifically. I found a really unique pair of Johnston Murphy monk strap shoes. Monk strap shoes for some reason are in pretty high demand. They sell really well. So I definitely uh, grabbed those. I also found a couple of pairs of Kohan Grand OS shoes. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the Kohan anymore, but they do still sell. So, you know, I'm always flipping through all of the shirts and the sweaters and jackets, just looking for good brands, Patagonia's, North Face, and those types of things. There just wasn't a whole lot there today in the men's section. So, spent a little time there. No jeans, again. I went to the sporting goods section, looked for the golf clubs, nothing. I did find a couple of things in the stuffed animal section. Um, one was a big Scooby-Doo there. Um, and then I went into the women's jacket section and I found a couple things. I found a couple of North Face and I found a really nice Nike okay, so jacket. Got better stuff here. There were quite a few shoes that I picked up some Adidas. I got a pair of Nike free runs that were in really good condition. So we'll look through all of those later. I also got a couple of North Face like jackets, like fleece jackets and a Vineyard Vines belt, some other stuff. So um, yeah, so this was a decent uh, stop. So I have two more places I'm going to go to today. And so let's hit number three. So this is their like premium section where supposedly it's like really high-end stuff, I guess. And I'm just like, yeah, no, it's not really 
high end. Uh, but I'm gonna just take a little quick look. But uh, I did notice that there was a sign in the back that clothing, unless it was specially marked, was a dollar. And there was one section where I like got all excited because I saw these North Face like snow pants. And then I looked a little bit further and it was like $30 for them, which of course that's, that's what I would probably sell them for. So I'm looking through all these things and it's, you know, okay, so what can I get in here for a dollar? So I'm thinking all the stuff that I'm looking at here is a dollar. Cause like right there, there's no tag, there's no special pricing. So I'm thinking it's all a dollar. And so I grab like five or six things. Well, yeah, that's actually not what happened. So so even though there, it said that stuff was a dollar, it wasn't, and everything was pretty much more expensive than I thought. So I ended up putting a lot of stuff back and I think only ended up with two things. So for example, their pricing can just be wacky. This is just a little Columbia. So everything was not a dollar. So I get to the cash register and I think I have all these really cool things like these nice knit sweaters and some other neat things. And then they're like, oh no, if it's got a pink uh, taggy thing, it's five. I'm like, but it's, it says right there that clothing a dollar and thus specially marked. So if it just, like, how was I supposed to know that a pink tag meant $5? Like, for real. So I ended up putting back four things. I ended up getting two things. I got, like, a, a marmot fleece jacket and a hand a knit sweater. So combined, it was $6 for both of them. So it's, like, three bucks a piece. But, again, that's why I don't usually frequent this one. Because their pricing you saw on there, oh, my gosh, like, $30? Really? for a Columbia kids jacket? Uh, no, no. All right, we're gonna head over to this next one. And this next one is a ministry-based thrift, really kind of small, local, um, really like it. I find um, some really great things in here. So, so let's head on over there and then we'll go home and see what we got. Last stop before we go home. This one, for some reason, the parking lot is packed. I'm telling you, it has to do with the weather. Everyone's like, let's go thrifting. Like, come on, man. Hopefully we find some good stuff in here. I usually always walk out of here with at least five or six items. Again, it's a smaller, kind of more local uh, ministry-based uh, thrift store. So let's go. So there's not a whole lot of real estate here. So it's pretty much just rows of clothes. I usually start at the back and work my way forward. They were running a sale on kind of winter stuff, jackets and sweaters. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything. Um, the only thing I found were three pairs of shoes. So not too bad. I ended up with only three pairs of shoes, um, but they were nice shoes. And I think my buy cost is right around five, five-ish per shoe. So not uh, not too bad. So I'm gonna head home and then we'll start breaking all this stuff out, going through everything that we got. So here is the final look over of everything. So we're gonna pull everything out of these bags one by one and see what we got. So I did find this little Mickey Mouse guy and he was comping for around $25. The La La Loopsie toy, also like 20. And the Bop It, I've just been seeing these pop up all over the place, so I just decided to grab it for two bucks. Um, that's a Lorna Jane vest, which Lorna Jane is pretty expensive, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I didn't look at it because my LTE was like not working because of the weather. I have several of these Jerry zip-up hoodies, and so I grabbed another one. And then this is that Marmot, um, one of the Marmots that I got today, um, just a little fleece. Um, that you know was sitting there next to the Jerry, and then this was a Star Wars jacket. Uh, I just, you know what, it looked cool, so I went ahead and I grabbed it. Why in the heck not? And then this, I think, is going to be the find. It is a vintage-looking tag, and I really think this is something. I I tried to Google lens it, but again, my internet was being wonky. And so I tried to find out what exactly it is, but I'm going to do a little bit more research on it. So if anybody knows what this is, let me know. Second stop, this is the one where I got a lot of shoes. These are those nice Mizunos um, in really good condition. I also got this other pair of Adidas uh, Samoas, also in really good condition. The Nike Free Runs, great condition. You can't argue with that. That's the nice thing. And then these are those Cole Haan Grand OS. I got a pair of loafers. And then I think the other one were loafers also, but I think they had the tassels on them. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, right there, those are the tassels. And then those are the Johnson Murphy monk strap shoes. I'm really excited to get those listed because they are a really nice uh, like brogue style. And uh, I think those are going to sell really well. And then I also got that pair of Nike Air 
shoes. I, they're the little boys, like a boy size, probably like a five and a half, six in boys. This is a Harrods bear. Obviously, I grabbed him because Harrods, I think, you know, expensive. There's the Scooby. And then I also grabbed uh, this little guy. He's just going to go to my Build-A-Bear collection that I've got going right now. I'm going to lot all of those up and sell them all as like one big giant lot. I grabbed these. These are actually Airwalk boots, little like Ugg style Airwalks. And I grabbed them because number one, they're my daughter's size. So if she doesn't like them, I will sell them. But if she likes them, she's going to probably just keep them. She'll like them, I promise. <laughs> I got a Vineyard Vines belt. So I was really excited about that. It was only a couple of dollars. And then I did find some other clothing. I did find a couple of North Face fleeces one in this like really nice wine cranberry color and then this other one this really light blue color then great walt disney world zip up disney parks walt disney world zip up i kind of usually try to grab those and then the last thing is this nike jacket i thought it was lululemon at first ended up being nike so these are just the two things that i grabbed from that one stop the marmot fleece and then this is something kind of neat it's the northeast knitters it's just like really neat knit sweater so the last stop Found a nice pair of Echoes and a pair of Converse. I did have a little pair of kid Uggs, but they were my daughter's size and she took them before I could well, even so take this picture. thanks so much for coming along with me on my Saturday sourcing. I, you know, hope that you got some kind of insight into maybe some brands. Uh, I'm going to probably spend the rest of the day, um, you know, listing and cleaning and doing all of those things and, and trying to get as much on uh, into my stores as possible. Uh, so if you liked what you saw today, give me a like, maybe a subscribe, leave a comment below. Um, I'd love to kind of chat with everybody and uh, what I have planned for my next video is probably a what sold hopefully some things sell that would that's kind of the point so yeah but anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time